I want to blow your mind. For the last 20 years, I have been helping professionals, high-level executives, and people from all walks of life learn how to relax, have fun, and hack their brain to change stress into success. I've got over 30 teaching and healing certifications. I've been taking hundreds of hours of psychology courses and psychiatric courses. I know a little bit about the brain. So let me ask you two questions. And if the answer is yes, please raise your hand. First, who here thinks that society is becoming more violent and more polarized every day? Who here would like to learn some quick and easy techniques that could help you relax, calm down, be more inclusive, and enjoy life? All right. To start, I'd like to sing a little song. And for those of you who have sensitive hearing, I strongly recommend that you cover your ears. If you're happy and you know it, overthink. If you're happy and you know it, overthink. If you're happy and you know it, give your brain a chance to blow it. If you're happy and you know it, overthink. For the last 100,000 years or so, our brains have evolved an autonomic nervous system. And what this does is control our bodily functions and our bodily organs without us having to remember or to think about it. Things like digestion, breathing, heart rate, and blood pressure. There are two parts to this autonomic nervous system. The first is called the sympathetic nervous system, and that's what we know as a fight or flight response. When we are uh, confronted with life-threatening situations, our brain automatically starts pumping adrenaline and cortisol into our body to make us stronger and faster. The problem is, is that when we're in the warrior response, we can't be inclusive because it's all about survival. Now, the other part to the autonomic nervous system is called the parasympathetic nervous system, what I call the guru. This is our feel-safe response. Some people call it rest and digest. And what this does is when we feel safe, our brain produces endorphins and melatonin, and serotonin, dopamine, and oxytocin. These help us relax, have fun. We can connect. We can have communication. We can understand each other. When you're in warrior mode, you're looking at the problem. When you're in guru mode, you're looking for the solutions. And when you're in the guru mode, you can fall in love. You can have fun. And you will definitely live longer. The problem is, is that society has evolved faster than our brains. And as a result, we don't have predators after us anymore, but we have mortgage payments. We have divorces. We have teenagers. We have politics. We have foreign wars. And we have diversity, our separation of opinions and ideas that don't want to try to compromise. And as a result, when we're confronted with these differing opinions, our warrior kicks in and floods our bodies with adrenaline and cortisol when it shouldn't. And so we stay in that warrior mode far too long, and it's very bad for our health and for our relationships. And as a result, as the introduction said, I was a trial lawyer for 27 years, and every day my warrior kicked in. I called it DEFCON 5. And I eventually just burned out. I had a nervous breakdown, and I had to quit practicing law. And so I went to try to find out what happened to me and what I could do to prevent that from happening to me again or to anyone else. And so what I have found is some quick and easy techniques, which I'm about to teach you, that can help you turn off your warrior and turn on your guru so you can relax and enjoy life and be more inclusive.
So, are you ready? All right. The first one. Smile. Smiling activates your facial nerves, which are connected to your cranial nerve, which is connected to your vagus nerve. And your vagus nerve is probably the most important nerve in your body because it connects your brain to your internal organs. What science has found is that when you're in warrior mode, it shuts down your frontal lobe. It shuts down your vagus nerve. It shuts down your digestion because all available energy goes to your muscles. But conversely, science has found when you activate your vagus nerve, the opposite happens. You actually turn on your guru and you can relax and have fun and it's automatic. So when you smile, you can relax and have fun and all the people around you will do the same. Secondly, breathing. There's a, our ancestors have created a, a system of breathing that helps us relax. It supports our health, our immune system, and clears our mind. It's called pranayana yoga. We call it breath work today. You may have heard of the box breath, which is inhale to the count of four, hold for the count of four, exhale for the count of four, hold for the count of four. I want to show you a little experiment that can make you relax faster. And it's simply exhale fast or longer than your inhale. So let's try that. I want you to inhale to the count of four. One, two, three, four. Hold for the count of four. One, two, three, four. Exhale to the count of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold for the count of four. One, two, three, four. Four. If you do this, it's absolutely amazing how fast you can relax. Third, ice cold water. My parents used to go tell me to stick my head in a bucket of cold, ice cold water, and that's because I was such a hothead. Now, science has discovered that when ice cold water comes in contact with your skin, it signals the brain to produce endorphins, the love hormone. And so, if you feel anxious or afraid or angry, go wash your hands in ice cold water or splash ice cold water on your face. Take an ice cold shower or better yet, jump in an ice covered lake. Uh, just kidding. Fourth eye movement. I want you to raise your hands up on each side of your head about ear level. Now, without moving your head, I want you to look all the way over to the left at your left hand and hold it for 60 seconds. And then go all the way back to the right and look at your right hand and hold that for 60 seconds. And then go back and forth, holding it for 60 seconds. You will be absolutely stunned how quickly your anger, your tension, your worry will just go away. Finally, singing. There's a reason I sang that song at the beginning of my talk, and that was to help me relax and to manage my stage fright. Because when you activate your vocal cords, it's right beside your vagus nerve. And so when you activate your vocal cords, you're activating your vagus nerve and you're turning on your guru response. So that's why it makes us feel better. That's why we sing in the shower. We sing in the car. We sing at church or social functions. It makes us feel better. Now, it's also the reason why monks will chant their mantras out loud in order to clear their minds and relax so they can contemplate the mysteries of the universe. I want you to try this little experiment with me. The mantra is just one word. It's OM. Now, the deeper you tone, the more vibration in your vocal cords and the faster you will turn on your guru. So let's try that. Om, om, om. So when you do that, you're doing everything that's healthy for your body. You relax, you can have fun, you can go have a conversation with somebody you may be having a disagreement with without bringing a baseball bat with you. You can have you know, it's amazing all the benefits this has for your body. Now, the interesting thing is, is that 
Your frontal lobe cannot tell your autonomic nervous system what to do. You can't say to your autonomic nervous system, warrior, turn off, guru, turn on. That's like telling an angry person to calm down. How successful are you with that? So what you have to do are these physical things in order to hack your brain, in order to relax and have fun. This is how I went from being a nervous wreck in 2004 to a requested public speaker, an international award-winning author, a frequently published article writer in national magazines, a coach, a teacher, and I'm having fun again. So let's turn off the warrior, turn on the guru, and be more inclusive. Thank you.